Now, before we move on to other topics, I want to do one more on sensibility, and this one will be about why sensibilities are important to talk about in the first place. You might think sensibilities are just an interesting thing to think about, a different aspect of the world like other aspects, and sometimes it's just fun to think about sensibilities. And sure, that could be the case if you're, you know, learning a new skill, you go into that a little bit more, and then you choose another one, and then you choose another one. However, if you keep this mindset, you can choose and unchoose any activity, and thus one activity doesn't mean any more important than another. Now, some think that this way of thinking can actually lead to nihilism, because if there's no greatest good, then, you know, what are we doing on this earth anyway? Am I just going to choose one skill and the next until I go on to the next? Leo Tolstoy actually had this same thought in his mind, and it's what drove him, he said, almost to suicide. If you read his confessions, he says, what the, the, the thing that really bothered him was, what do I do today that will mean something tomorrow? And the only answer he could really reliably find was nothing. Well, maybe sensibilities can help us in, encounter this phenomenon. Now, sensibilities, what do they do? Well, they allow us to receive the world in, in different ways. If I'm playing the piano, the piano appears to me in a different way than it did when I first started learning the piano. So in a sense, I'm not the one that's just changing. The world is changing around me as I gain the sensibility towards it. Maybe a better example would be when you go to a museum and you look at a piece of art and you might not know the artist or what the piece is about, but you look at it and you might be able to appreciate it aesthetically, it has certain colors, it's painted in a certain way. Now, let's say you go in the future, a couple of years later, you really learn about the artist. You, have, you learn that the artist had a certain kind of life that they use the current technique because it worked with their lifestyle. And when you look at the painting again, it reveals itself in a completely different way that allows you to appreciate it in so many more ways. Thus, by gaining sensibilities, what we're doing is we're opening more doors to the world. The world as we see it today is not the complete world if you think about it in a way with sensibilities. And each new sensibility I'm able to gain is a new way for me to access the world in a way that I could never have thought prior. And what's even more is that these new ways of entering the world are things that I couldn't imagine what they could be. Now, I could look at a static way of looking at the world. This is the nihilistic way and saying, I see everything, I understand everything that exists, and therefore nothing is more or better than anything else. If I look at it the sensibility point of view, the whole world or the entirety of the world is incomplete. There are things that I could not possibly understand. And thus, by interacting with the world in certain ways, new things are opened up to me that I could not have previously understood at all. The sense of boundlessness and limitlessness actually gives the world a new value. I don't want to say I'm making moral claims here or whether sensibilities are any kind of answer, but I think they're interesting. And whatever is interesting, I think, is, is worth looking into and studying.